At my house, the roar of traffic on the A12 is a constant companion. We all live in a very noisy world. Whether it's the sound of traffic, telephones, or this time of year, the endless Christmas background music in shops. And if it's not external noise, then it's our own internal soundtrack of anxiety about Covid or work or climate change, about our children, our elderly parents and so on. We might well ask, where is the promised peace of the newborn Christ child, the baby who was foretold as the coming Prince of Peace? It Came Upon the Midnight Clear is a favourite carol for many, and you may remember that it contains that wonderful image of the world falling silent in the middle of the night on that first Christmas Eve, to hear the angels sing to the shepherds on the hillside outside Bethlehem, telling of the birth of Jesus, the long-promised Messiah. The carol goes on to remind us that the noise and clamour of our world is threatening to overpower and drown out the love song of the angels. And perhaps that's even more true today than it was when the words of the carol were written in 1849. If only we could find some silence to hear the angels sing again. And there are so many in our world who need desperately to hear that song of peace, love and joy. And of course, the first verse of It Came Upon the Midnight Clear offers a wonderful image of the hope that we cling to. The hope that one day that longed for peace will come and we will all join in the angel's song. For now, in the busyness and noise of this Christmas season, my hope and prayer for all of us is that we can each find at least a few moments of peace and quiet to pause and reflect on the true heart of Christmas. And perhaps we might even hear the angels sing once more at the birth of the Saviour.